After receiving an invitation to his father's coronation, Harry broke down in a back alley and cried. They treat me so well, but I don't know why. Good day, pals. Here on Royal Family News Update, we have the latest on the hypocritical royal couple, Harry and Meghan Markle. Despite the controversy surrounding Harry and Meghan's explosive Netflix documentary, King Charles has invited the couple to his coronation. Several sources have told the Daily Mail that Charles has already told his son and daughter-in-law they are welcome to attend the historic occasion, even though the formal invitations have not yet been sent out for next year. It is said that he still holds this view even after the couple insulted him and other members of his family as part of their multi-million dollar contract with the streaming behemoth. Increased calls for the Sussex to lose their titles in the wake of their Netflix series scathing insults to the royal family have been met with silence from the firm, which would rather preserve the dignity of silence than risk an ongoing dispute over who gets the final word. The royal writer Sally Bedell Smith claims that Harry inadvertently provided an opening for his father to strip him and his wife of their titles. We may do away with the Sussex titles. As she explained to the Times, the king is absolutely entitled to do so, but finding the most efficient means of doing so is the real challenge. She compared the transition to the First World War, when the royal family's name was changed from saxe coburg gotha to Windsor. Members of the working royal family, according to sources who spoke with the Telegraph, want to keep making public appearances and don't feel the need to comment on the controversy. Charles and Camilla are planning the largest royal Christmas gala in five years, and it's unlikely that the Sussexes will attend. Meanwhile, Camilla's children and other royals like Mike Tyndall and Prince Andrew will reportedly attend the event without Harry and Meghan. It has been reported that the king has invited his loyal family to spend the holiday with him in Sandringham. The elaborate coronation festivities are moving swiftly forward as organizers strive to satisfy both historical tradition and Charles' desire for a modern celebration befitting a more streamlined monarchy. According to the Mail, the king and queen consort recently went to Westminster Abbey as part of extensive pre-event surveillance. The St. Edward's crown from the Tower of London has been removed so that it can be resized. The Queen Consort, who will be at her husband's side, is also well known to have chosen her own crown. Queen Elizabeth II's state diadem is the most likely candidate, as she has been wearing it to and from the state opening of Parliament on numerous occasions as of late. While the 105 carat Ko I Noor diamond in the Queen Mother's crown is technically removable, as reported by the Mail earlier this year, some have expressed reservations about using the crown in its intended capacity. In the Netflix series finale this week, Harry accused his father of lying about their January 2020 meeting at Sandringham, where they supposedly discussed Harry and Meghan's future. According to him, it was terrifying to listen to his brother yell at me, to hear his father say things that were obviously false, and to see his grandmother sit silently and sort of take it all in. According to reports, the angry prince made absurd claims about senior royals who were plotting to bring Meghan down because they were jealous of her success and had spread rumors about her in the media. He used his mother as an example of how someone marrying into the royal family should take on a supporting role, and he claimed that tensions arose when it became clear that Meghan was stealing the limelight or performing the task more effectively than the person who was born to do it. Buckingham Palace has been silent about the numerous false allegations. With less than five months until his coronation at Westminster Abbey on May 6, it is also well known that the king is determined to avoid being derailed by family issues. A reliable source has stated that the king has always loved Harry because he is his son. Although things may be tough right now, there is always hope. Even if Harry made more shocking claims in his memoir the following month, according to another source, they still did not expect the invitation to be revoked. Palace insiders are said to be fearing the release of the tell-all book Spare because it contains allegations about Harry's upbringing and treatment by the royal family. Some people believe that the couple's attendance at the coronation would be utterly hypocritical, given the pain they have caused the family through racism allegations and lack of support. This is what a reliable source had to say. It would be completely hypocritical 
but then again, not wholly surprised if they did, let's just say. The palace did not want to comment, saying that the coronation guest list was still being finalized. In the three episodes of Harry Meghan that dropped on Netflix last week, the 38-year-old prince almost completely sidelined his father. Worse, he insinuated that he was raised by strangers in Africa and the military, which is both false and hurtful. Despite the fact that Charles wasn't always a hands-on parent and struggled to balance the needs of a family with his formal royal duty, his friends argued that it would be unfair to portray him as heartless. A second source added, I know there have been discussions about them going to the coronation, and while there are a lot of possible difficulties between now and then, I can't see His Majesty's attitude altering to this. Many people have different ideas about what should be done in this situation. An authority on the matter said, this looks like an olive branch, but it's undoubtedly the case that a straightforward snub would be less damaging to the reputations of Harry and Meghan. How so? This would only add fuel to their claim that they are innocent bystanders victimized by the royal family. Now they must decide whether to attend, which would be extremely awkward for them, and almost certainly lead to the same result, or not attend which would lead to a pile of stinking manure being smeared by the hands of a willing press into their reputations. The King and Prince of Wales are not as dim as some might have you believe. Clever move that will make Charles appear gracious and kind in the manner of our late Queen, while the hypocrites will be shunned by family and forced to face the public. As with the Jubilee Thanksgiving service, I hope they are given second-row seating and a phalanx of security to keep them in line. Excellent planning on the part of the king. As a result of the public's treatment of them at the queen's funeral, he is aware that Harry and Meghan will not return to be a part of this event. He's putting out the palm of his hand even though he knows they won't return the favor. Brings out the best in him, and he is, in fact, a better person. In spite of this backing, many people are worried that Charles will be eaten by this horrible parasite as a result of his courageous decision. Think King Charles was nice to extend an invitation to Harry, despite Meghan's criticisms? Post your responses in the space provided below. To that end, we offer this video as a resource. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. In closing, I'd like to say thank you for watching this newsletter and wish you luck with future videos. Goodbye.